Hey everyone, Theta here, back in with another Stone Face Reactions. Um, as you can see, Astro Boy. Uh, a met addendum to that, though. What I thought I was originally going to do was just watch the whole series, right? And uh, trying to base my thoughts about uh, the upcoming uh, Pluto uh, watch that me and Griff are going to do around that. However... The thing is, is that not all of Astro Boy has been translated. Um, I would say a little over half, maybe. And um, we are rapidly also running out of time. Uh, as I believe I've said, we're going to be recording Pluto uh, later this week, which might be different from when you're actually watching this. Which leaves me only a little bit of time to try and go through the the history of Astro Boy as well as the history of whatever the Pluto storyline is. So, yesterday I covered the pilot, the very first animated anything of Astro Boy. So we know what his original backstory is. We know how he was sold to an audience uh, on TV. Um, so I thought what I would do... Well, my first thought was originally, let's just watch a couple episodes and see how long it takes us to get to the Pluto storyline. And it's like, okay, where is the Pluto storyline? It is 116 episodes in. And it does not get shown early. And also, unfortunately... It is not one of the episodes that's been translated. Now, I did give it a little bit of effort here. I did put in the uh, the attempt to AI translate uh, the video. And I don't mean, like, Google Translate. I mean, like, I went to various websites, see what their offer was, uh, and then see how accurately they could translate it. Nothing was any better than Google Translate, which itself was just nonsense. So, not even worth putting on screen. You're asking, well, the episode title says 116, 117. What the hell does that mean, then? <laughs> that means you might skip this one, and I wouldn't blame you if you did. Because <laughs> this is going to be a this is gonna be a weird little journey. Uh, what we're going to do today is that we are going to watch Episodes 116 and 117 of 1963's Astro Boy. Uh, the Greatest Robot on Earth, Part 1 and Part 2, which according to Wikipedia's description of the episode, a robot, Pluto, is built to kill the seven strongest robots in the world, therefore making him the world's most powerful robot. So we're going to be watching this two-parter in a language I don't understand, and only knowing the pilot uh, episode's uh, story of the character. I'm going to try and interpret the best I can for you. Otherwise, I think after this one, I'm going to move on to the next version of Astro Boy to have been animated that also features a Pluto storyline. And we're going to try and adapt to that one as well. And then, hopefully, I'll do this in an order that makes sense, that will lead us right into the uh, the Pluto anime with me and Griff, with me having this this background of nonsense information <laughs> to, uh, to layer onto you. So, if you enjoy this, I hope you do. And if not, thank you for at least clicking through to this far. Uh, that being said, let's get into... What I can only imagine to be 40 minutes of torture for some, and enjoyment for others. Alright, unfortunately we had to do this a little bit in a uh, odder aspect ratio than we did before. Somehow the, uh, the only copy of this I could find was a bit more stretched out than the versions that we had before. It does look like they updated the opening a bit, though. 
Oh, and he's, uh, there's another one. A female Astro Boy. Oh, that's not a good interpretation. And I guess the doctor goes out with them, too. What? That seems like the best thing to do to a World Heritage Site. So it's either a girlfriend or a sister. It's hard to tell. Oddly though, she's got the Pluto horns going on. Okay, deep in Dracula's lair. A shadowy figure as a rat reads the newspaper. Okay, seven robots. As the royal vizier tells his bodyguard. Okay. I thought he was betraying his master or something. I mean, obviously that's Pluto there. I don't think I had to say that. Wouldn't think those big hordes meant anything other than Pluto. Also, Pluto is a fucking giant. So is he gonna betray his master and kill him too? And he's going to drill. Tornado, okay. I just wanted to say, the feel the first episode gave me was like uh, an Ari Fleischer Superman cartoon. Mixed with Mega Man X. For some reason, his character design looks very familiar. Okay, Pluto talks. <laughs> Oh fuck. Just... Okay, yeah, he really did just fucking kill him. I have to wonder if these are characters that have been developed over the last 116 episodes or not. We have to assume that was, we have to do something about this. And then he just fucking showed up. He just bounced off Pluto. And that was enough to destroy the other guy. Oh, that's right, Astro Boy has butt guns. Mm -hmm. 
に何の恨みがあって喧嘩をしに来たのじゃよし、このわしが相手になるぞ届きなさい、私は人間を相手に戦うようになったのじゃ私はロボットだけを相手に戦うように作られたのだヨーグマ博士をやったな何をやめろったら見ればお前は外国製品のロボットを使うようになったのじゃ Where if a person gets hurt, they instantly have band aids. I called him Adam, too. I don't know why I'm happy that they called him Adam, it's his fucking name. It does seem like they improved the animation quality a lot since episode one. Okay, so it's his sister then. Also, did Pluto just leave? They didn't show him leaving, so... Oh, he's one of the seven. I recognize that head from the uh, picture. It's hard to imagine this thing is one of the seven strongest. Okay, never mind, maybe now I can see it. The Goro of uh, robots. I imagine he's the robot asking him why he's doing it. I don't go near his horns. Some things that fucking destroy you. It seems like he's just a slow, unstoppable machine, right? So that he seemingly just left Astro Boy's place perfectly fine. Doesn't seem to have even indicated that he went to Astro Boy's place. So is he telling him a story he wants to hear? I keep waiting for him to go out of control. To destroy that guy's place. Can't recognize the voice. Adorable cat. 
Okay, don't need that. I was just about to say at least at least she's not relegated to just the pants that Astro Boy has to wear all the time. But then here she is, pretending to be Astro Boy. Oh wait, did he just call them? Is that what it was? Best guess. He's saying, I know you're not Astro Boy, but I'll do something to make him come out. So even the heroine has to become a damsel in distress. That seems like the worst place to put her. She needs to wake up and just destroy you from the inside. It's been two years since Stone Faced Reactions has had a fat Hitler, but here we are. By the way, I don't know how many two-parters Astro Boy has ever had. This is certainly one of them. It's got to be one of the earliest two-parters in anime history. I was hoping he was going like, to drop kick him. One of the remaining five. I don't recognize his head from the, uh, the list. Yeah,しのぞみとこにお前から相手になってやる。いずれお前も叩き潰される運命だったのだ。アトム、お前との決闘はこいつと勝負をつけてからだ。He literally had a little cartoony drawn heart in his chest. It should be relatively... You need to take Pluto on, you just lift up his chest plate and ruin his insides. He also doesn't seem that watertight. Uh, they're doing the uh, Hunt for Red October thing. You think he's destroyed. So three down. 
four left. You think they're gonna save Pluto? What's that do? I imagine the button on his back did. Did he throw in a fit or did he do something to her? Okay, he's still clearly damaged. Oh, was the button a homing signal? Is that what it was? よくもこの足に恥をかかしてくれたな。やい、油博士。わしはお前にあれだけの金を渡してこのプルートを作らしたのに、この座前一体なんだ。え、おうよ。プルートとて所詮はロボットです。時には壊れもします。そんなガラク
I would say they're going to try and make Pluto better with this guy, but this guy didn't make Astro Boy. Hopefully that guy is dead by now. I think this guy is just the head of the Japanese science division, right? それで君に人質になってもらったんだ。君という奴は。よし、ブルート、アトムが来るまで博士を監禁しておけ。あ、博士の夢だ。I wonder if that's what they have to do. They have to depend on Astro Boy's super hearing. Because it doesn't seem like he has like a homing device on him. Oh, robot crocodiles. いかんいかん。お前の力をそんな無駄なことに使っては。やけなことを言うな。これでも嫌か。うわ、ちょっと待て。死んだかじゃまずい。外で決闘しろ。わしもゆっくり見物させてもらおうかな。It seems like Pluto is just made out of like the hardest material, I guess. But also Astro Boy must be too, because he's not getting hurt by any of it. Remember the other floating one with the six arms got like destroyed and ripped apart by hitting stuff. I'm also surprised that Astro Boy has remained modern in his own world, right? He was built to be top of the line. 116 episodes ago. These newer robots should be uh, more modern than he is. Oh, here we go. Actual damage. I don't quite understand what happened to him that made him fall out of the sky. Oh, is he running out of power? And he and Pluto recharged him? It's either an honor thing, or it's a classic Astro Boy thing. You know, the precursor for Astro Boy getting his life and everything was him powering up all of the other robots. That's where you get the butt charging scene. I honestly do not understand how we've left on eat happy terms. Unless that guy has, has one of those angry voices, 
where you think he's being angry and mad all the time. He's literally just saying nice stuff with a harsh tone. That, or Pluto let them go, and that guy is actually still angry. Because it very much seemed like one of those uh, honor fight kind of things, right? Where Pluto's like, no, I understand the value of you, and you bested me, and that's why he charges him up when he falls out of the sky. Dear that, this is a two-parter, and I don't understand how this ends. This ending is in a way where a two-parter would happen. So it's either that, or they agreed to be, let him go, and then fight again on another time. But the way Pluto is waving goodbye, it's like he's happy about something. This weird black thing happened too with uh, episode one. I have to think maybe, maybe a local station would put something on top of that. But I don't know what editing capabilities uh, they would have back in 1963. So yeah, that was uh, the first part of uh, this two-parter here. So uh, give me a moment here, and I'll just wrap us into the next part. Uh, once again, a little bit of uh, Leia finagling there. Seems this one kind of, kind of messed itself up in the layout as well, by which I mean scratched a little bit. But yeah, I gotta figure out how we go from the, how that episode ended to this one. Because obviously Pluto is still out there, so I guess he's still a threat. The fact that this is presented in such a way, also, oof, that again. Also, this is presented in such a way that it's almost cartoonish, but it does have a building storyline, right? So, how in the premise of a cartoon do we forgive or deal with the fact that Pluto killed three uh, robots, which are considered human in the realm of uh, Astro Boy. We cover that in the pilot. Or is it just like Bluto, right? Bluto beats people up, steals from them all the time, and we just keep coming back every episode. Clearly Pluto coming to kill another one of the world's strongest. That's horn fixed. Gishaichi。私は世界一のロボットだ。お前がプルートなら確かに挑戦状は受け取った。このヘラクレス確かに相手になってやる。ヘラクレスとは強そうな名前だが、果たしてこの俺に勝てるかな?うん、黙れ。
Well, there's one trick that uh, roboticists take. I believe there's only um, three left, right? Killed. Why are you grinning? Maybe you're one of the three that are left? I want to say he killed three in the first episode, right? So that would have been the fourth death. あとのくんがいらっしゃいますか、お嬢さん。お嬢さん、そんなに驚くことはないですよ。私の体は特殊な金属でできているので、このように光っているのです。僕がアトムです。ゴーゴーアトム。いや、there <笑> Is he glowing because he's like energetic? Is he glowing because he's made of a material? Or is he like handsome? Yeah, okay, so I'm right. He has killed four. Four out of seven. But he told me he wouldn't kill anymore. I'm guessing I'm right. Me? No, no way. Look at me. I'm too beautiful. I couldn't fight. Pluto? It can't be a beauty thing, because I think his sister would be fawning over him. Not because she's that kind of character, but I think that's what the cartoons of the age would be doing. To express how desirable he is, have somebody express how desirable they find him. When lightning falls are like cannon fire. I guess he is one of the world's strongest. Maybe he was just telling, um, maybe he was just telling Adam his plan to go after him. That or just a random one confronting him. Okay, glowing cannon chest guy. This feels like the random role on a create a robot video game. That's weird because he blocked these things before. Before, though, he didn't have a force field, and he was blocking them, and now he has a force field. <laughs> I 
Maybe this guy's supposed to be like the more advanced version of Astro Boy. And maybe the glow is supposed to be his own force field too. Now his face hasn't shown any concern. Or rather... Wait, what? Did he get destroyed off screen, or did... Was he holding on so tight that when he pulled his horns down, it tore him apart? That wasn't even a blink and you miss it. I had no idea how he got killed. He was laughing because he was fine, and then he was scrap on the ground. Anyway, that's five out of seven. Okay, so it was one of them. Come on, Pluto. Make me right. You have to go after your master at some point. We all recognize that this means two. Oh, is this the betrayal? Is the betrayal happening? He's still grinning. Hard to tell. Oh, it's a squint. Oh, her eyes closed. I can't tell. So hard to tell. So yeah, it really feels like a, I'm going off to fight him, don't worry, I'll handle this, and then they discover him dead. It's his black box. I'm sure this is probably the most important part of this episode for those of you who understand what he said. It's that guy from the Coliseum. If only you would help that guy with the spear and the shield, we wouldn't be here right now. Okay, so he's clearly a hero. That or he's lying about where he was. It's funny that only one of the world's strongest was a water-based uh, robot. The thing is, we don't know why he stopped fighting Astro Boy the first time. 
とにかく二人一緒にやってくるとは全く都合がえわしはついとるわい<笑>サンタ僕の話を聞いてくれえいいやうるさいさっそくお前たちが戦う相手を紹介しよう史上最大のロボットフルートじゃ、えー、さあどちらが先にフルートの戦いをしてサンタ僕たちは戦いに来たのではないいや、これは、アーマーンとフォーカー。さあ、フルート、メンドーダー、サビシュイン、タタコエティブ。バテ、フルート、ティモロボットナー、ワカラスタ、ボクタキャイミノナイト、タカウ、フルタミニュー、マネティクタンジャナイト、ワカラスタ、タカウ、タメニュー、クラタロボットトナロダ、コレリソンナゴトイ、テモムダラコトダ、フルート、オネガイダ、メオタマスノダ。I take it maybe Astro Boy is the only one who's tried to reason with him so far. Oh, they're gonna throw him into the volcano. Considering their for,、uh, sources of flying seem to be of more sudden, and Pluto has to like, build up to a tornado. It's kind of funny as I can see a、uh, red tornado from DC Comics fitting into this fairly well. I don't know how that helps. Unless they're solar powered. But they're not. So they've learned how to charge during the daytime, too. Well, maybe he is solar powered, though. Which would make him a kind of a bit like Superman if he's a superhero robot. I think that was his weapon. And his weapon seems to be like kind of like Pluto's. So he's not destroyed, but it seems like he's out of the fight. Which means that only one of the seven world's strongest is capable of fighting anymore. But his theme song is playing. Oh, that was a Hajime no Ippo move. I guess I was wrong about the build up thing following. Unfortunately, for the evil guy who built his headquarters on a volcano base. You think he can't fly without his、um, unicorn horn? Locking up the top of volcano is not going to stop the volcano. <laughs> It's 
Sky Tower gets created. Uh, Pluto, I hope Pluto doesn't sacrifice himself for some reason. I don't anticipate it happening. It's, it is kind of sad because you can you can recognize where at least that one was coming from. Although I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He does leave Astro Boy as the world's strongest, though. If you don't consider Pluto to be among them, despite having destroyed everyone. And now he's helping because he changed his mind when his eyes were closed and then he opened them. It's not how you stop a volcano. Twice now. Twice now Pluto has just decided, okay, cool Astro Boy. Was this the other scientist do? Okay, I just didn't see the cowl thing behind it. フルートはロボットとしての本当の姿を取り戻したようです。だがあなたはまだ争うことの無意味さにキャッツいていない。いや、けなおせまじゃ。フルートは世界一のロボットじゃ。そうです。フルートがいる限りあなたの気持ちは
The Doctor Doom of the Astro Boy universe. だが私はそんな毎日にだんだん虚しさを感じ始めてきたのです。そこで私は密かにロボット学を学びました。それはあなたに本当のロボットというものを作ってもらいたかったからです。だがされたのは私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私
but I still feel like I, I at least witnessed something. And to be fair, if I don't come out of anything else today, I have seen anime history. One of the first, I think, what, there was four anime running that year, and Astro Boy was at the beginning of the timeline. Uh, if you want me to watch more Astro Boy, let me know below, and I might just continue back from episode two up until wherever the translation stops, because unfortunately, more than, or a little less than half doesn't get translated, so I have no idea what it says. Uh, other than that, I will see you in the next episode when we go 20 years in the future. I believe I'll be in color by then. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. I've been Theta. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy? <laughs>